the, the flower the Japanese bees really love. And I just saw one bee. That, uh, where is it? Yeah, uh, that's not a bee, that's a beetle. I just saw a Japanese bee. And um, they were all over this. It's gonna be really windy, sorry. I forget what this is. This flower is from Australia. And they really love this flower. But it's a it's a you know it's a problem of finding it. There he is. Here's a Japanese bee right there. One bee. How many of you see him? I don't know where the camera is. Where is the camera? Right there. So he's right. There he is. That there is a Serana Japonica. So you can see the dark color, the lines. And he is working this entire patch by himself, diligently working. And he's going to go back and tell his friends. He's going to do a little bee dance and say, listen, look, look, look at all this here. Here's a butterfly. You just don't see this. If you go, if you live in Japan, go out and look at your flowers. You're not going to see butterflies. You're not going to see bees. And right now he's the only little guy. But that's good that he found it because he's going to go back and tell all his friends and do a little bee dance and say, hey, come on out here. And I bet a week from now, in these flower for a long time, this is going to be chocker block full of bees so and I wish I could climb there's Fuji there Fuji there and there's Fuji over there and they may be busy with the Fuji and that's why they're not here I bet you that's the case I bet you those I bet you there are hundreds of bees thousands of bees up on those that Fuji um, and here and this is my bee sanctuary this is all organic farming they don't use any pesticides here it's a great, this is actually, um, I call it my bee, Japanese bee oasis. It's actually an old cemetery, and there's actually cemetery in, you know, uh, around here. So, it's beautiful. But I'm going to plant lots of Fuji out here. As it's, you know, you can see it. And Fuji is actually a great plant because it actually, it's a lagoon. So you can see it growing up here. Every, you know, I'm going to plant it basically on, I could see more up there too. So there's quite a bit of Fuji. But I'm going to pl plant it actually on these pines. Put one per pine and let it grow up. The pine, ah, I just saw a bee on it. So here is a, a mint. How do I know it's a mint? It's kind of mint because the clue is the square stem. So this is some sort of ground mint, and then here's a solitary bee. A little solitary bee working the mint. This ground. I don't know if it... Yeah, it has a little bit of a minty smell to it. Let's try it, see what it tastes like. Hmm. Mint. I don't know what kind of mint it is. Definitely mint. I can taste it. So... Hmm, definitely. And it has a square, you can tell mint because it has a square uh, stem. So it's part of the mint family. Little mint. And I bet if I sit here, here there's another solitary bee. The bees are working it. The bees love mint. And it's all growing here. So there's food here. Up here is uh, my bait hive. There's a bait hive there. Some flowering. Look at these. Beautiful flowers now flowering in here. So there's some food. These are some wild flowers. These are, um, these are um, irises. The irises are flowering. Something else soon to be flowering, and more iris. And there's my other bait hive over there, right there. You can see it through the trees a little bit. But um, so that's a small one there, right there. This is my big one, right here. Big boy. And if I get another swarm, I'll seed them. I'm going to leave these out here. The whole purpose for these is actually to create habitat for, for them to naturally swarm and get out. And there's... I don't see any bees. So, I can't imagine any bees moved in. But here's the other one. 
right there. So, and I have like danger with my number on it. So, I don't see any bees. Alright, I'm going to check the other one. 